What's going on sniping for Dom fans and all you big big sexy supporters out there my name is Derek my gamer tag alias is for Dom how the hell are you guys doing today welcome back to another learn the spawn trap video today we are talking about one of everyone's favorite maps in World War 2 we are talking about USS Texas if you're brand new to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit the notification button smack a like on this and definitely leave a comment down below telling me how you felt about the video look at this opening to this these kids are just standing around for no reason getting wrecked I should have hit a clip right here but I was a little slow we did get the triple headshot feed alright guys in this video we're gonna teach you a little bit about the history of this map which is really really cool and as well as the spawn traps as you can see right now I am locked into one of the spawn traps so when you're on that right hand side you can work the spawn trap a couple different ways when you're on that right hand side right there you can literally look off to your right and your left and you can either play it up in the windows that are across from us right now up top and look in and it still works the same or from the left it still works the same most pushing them to the right hand side a little bit about this map you always guys always pay attention to your radar that way you know where your team's spawning and this will help you if you're playing TDM or kill confirmed for the the swap spawns that happen fairly often if you're playing domination you need to have you know the two back B and C cap or opposite side A and B cap and then you can control the spawn the exact same way a little bit of history about this map right now USS Texas, other known as the BB-35, it was the second ship of the United States named in honor of the U.S. state of Texas. It's a New York class battleship. The ship was launched on the 18th of May in 1912, and it was commissioned on the 12th of March, 1914. Soon after her commissioning, Texas saw action in the Mexican waters following the Tampico accident, and it made numerous stories. Uh, into the North Sea during World War One, when the United States formally entered World War II in 1941. It basically convoyed across the Atlantic um, and later shelled Axis-held beaches for the North American campaign and the Normandy landings. Now, among the world's remaining battleships, Texas is notable for only for the only remaining World War One era dreadnought battleship, though she is not the oldest surviving Mikasa or pre dreadnought battleship ordered in 19 or 1898 by the Imperial Japanese Navy in HMS Victory, Nelson's flagship at the Battle of the Trafalgar, are both older than Texas. She is also noteworthy for being one of the only seven remaining ships in the only remaining capital ship to have survived or served in both world wars now here you see right now we are in the other spawn trap they'll feed off to the left right here and as well as to the right and sometimes someone will slip up top as you see right there um, you're just gonna work the side and hopefully you'll just you know you control these spots and they'll keep feeding to you Texas this is kinda cool Texas is kinda uh, Texas has appeared in several films prior to and since her retirement. Uh, the debut that she played was in 1937. It was in a field called Boy of Streets. It had Jackie Cooper in it. In 1966, it was in The Sand Pebbles. You've also seen this in Pearl Harbor that was out in 2001. And uh, you've also seen this in Iro Jima. Texas was a central plot element in the 1985 science fiction book The A's of Texas by Daniel DeCruz, who actually served in the Texas uh, in World War II. So really cool things. Um, now we get to see this awesome map and play on it in World War II Call of Duty multiplayer. If you guys appreciate this video or you want anything to input, please please let me know what you think down in the comment section don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't definitely hit the notification bell I love every single one of you guys and I cannot say how thankful I am for all the support that has been coming on the channel let me know also in the comments what map you want to see next to learn how to control the spawn trap that way you become more of a beast than you've ever been before I'm out guys I'll see you on the next fucking video
day. Nice work, soldier. so much for stopping by and taking time out of your day to show some love on my video don't forget to leave a like comment I always reply back to every comment and also subscribe if you haven't don't forget to check out a few of my sponsors G fuel use code Dom 10 to get 10% off control freaks Dom 10 to get 10% off trigger devils Dom 10 to get 10% off and my chair sponsor is GT Omega racing that is code Dom to get 5% off I love you guys don't forget to check out my daily streams as well as my other videos I upload through the week. I love you all. Mwah.